For me, happiness meant to be shared. I was born in such privilege. I have too many privileges. The way I pay back, the privilege that God gave me is where I can do something for other people. In Indonesia, the biggest problem is that we have so many community that do not have access to energy. For the children, for instance. In the afternoon, after school, they're helping their parents in the farmland. But in the night time, they need to study. Without electricity, they cannot study. We want to provide electricity from renewable energy that is so close located with the community and the resources is just in their surrounding. To make it sustainable is our first priority. It's by giving training, by empowering the local community so that the community understand what is technology, how they can handle it. It's not so difficult as long as they know how to operate, to maintain and manage properly for the benefit. This is exactly what we are trying to do. In many villages where they have the potential, it is around 100 kilowatt and the people only consume 10% of it. So the 90% they can sell to the grid. The money from the electricity sales goes back to the community in form of, let's say, village development fund to give scholarship for the poor kids so they can go to school. The village can provide the whole community with healthcare, free healthcare. The money is also used to improve or rehabilitate the village infrastructure. We prepare the local community to use the money properly and for good reasons that can create the benefit for all humankind in that villages and even outside that villages. Our approach is people-driven development. We put people in the first priority, the highest priority before we give technology introduction. We want the whole technology invention to fulfill the needs of the human being, even in the grassroots level. They have the right to have a better life condition by having appropriate technology to improve their life and their welfare.